time to check my social media to see who loves me Time to check my social media to see who loves me online. Time to check my social media to see who loves me online. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have you guys ever noticed how it is that when the Japanese Whatever they do, they have to bow. I wish we were all like the Japanese. Even if you are to hurt a Japanese guy right now, at the end of it all, he's going to bow. How do they do this? That somebody's angry, somebody's mad at you, and yet, instead of, you know, retaliating with whatever you did to piss him off, he bows. And by the way, do you guys know how the Japanese came to be bowing? at every single thing it's history and um i don't want to be the one to tell you guys that because these days everything are censored you cannot even use the n-word anymore you say any little thing about jewish people you're anti-semitic you say something about somebody of the of, of of a different color you're racist whatever you do these days online is monitored but they say freedom of speech Freedom of speech is not actually freedom of speech. And I was talking about the N-word. I remember when I was in Ukraine, um, some Ukrainian asked me, um, where are you from? And I told them I'm from Nigeria. They said, Algeria? I said, no, Nigeria. And um, they said, Nigeria? I said, da, Nigeria. And um, he told me, so it means you are the n-word you understand i don't want to say it we're talking about censorship so he said you are mm. and i asked how am i in mm? he said mm, from nigeria and then it dawned on me it's actually true it is actually true i'm from nigeria that makes me an mm. Mm. and that reminds me when we were kids growing up watching you know foreign movies watching american movies watching black movies black american movies um we see the uh the black guys you know what i'm talking the mm guys we see them walk like this you know as a kid i wanted to be like an mm. yeah that was my dream that was my goal when i see them bounce in movies and uh, yo what's up mm? what's up what's up mm? what's up mm? what are you doing mm? let's go get some mm. you know i always wanted to be an mm. but as time went on when we really understood what the n stands for we don't want to be in anymore in fact at the mention of that word mm, every black man is you know where is it coming from where is it coming from so when he told me that i'm mm, because i'm from nigeria it dawned on me actually it's true actually it's true yes because if you're uh, from japan you're japanese you're from china you're chinese so i'm from nigeria i'm Niger mm. I, I don't want to say it i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah but that's what it is and to us nigerians there's something i want to let you guys understand when the british gave us that name nigeria actually they didn't give us nigeria it was nigeria we have been pronouncing our country's name all wrong yes it is not nigeria it is actually nigeria you can take it to court and i'm going to prove to you that it's not nigeria it is nigeria the reason we changed it from nigeria to nigeria is because we don't want to you know people to think we're actually mm. that's why now how is it that um niger yeah the country you know just at the north of um, nigeria how is it that it's called niger me me not niger how is it called niger so for the fact that it is niger it means nigeria was also nigeria nigeria you can call it like that it isn't nigeria tell me again a country 
like Liberia. You think it's actually Liberia? It's Liberia. Liberia from Liberty. Liberia. So let's not just change names just because we want to run away from certain things. We are Liberians. That's who we are. Anyways, guys, I want to talk to you about why I do not um, talk about politicians uh, of Nigeria. I, I only talk about pastors. No, not like I only talk about. It's not my main topic whenever I talk. It's only when I see news about pastors, uh, men of God, I talk about them. Uh, but when I see news about Nigerian politicians and um, those who are in the, in the government, I rarely talk about them. Why? Uh, I want you guys to understand, first of all, that um, before I would set my foot in any church in Nigeria, I must first of all cross um, the border that is at the uh, Nigerian uh, Mutala International Airport. I cannot just set my foot on uh, either Pastor Jerry's church or uh, Oyedepo's church or um, Christ Embassy. No, I cannot worship there while i'm here before i set my foot in any of these churches buildings in with any of these pastors i have to first of all cross the international muhammad airport which is at lagos please listen to this carefully because you would understand where i am driving to or where i'm driving at or where i'm driving from you will get it so why is it that of all the things that our politicians are doing um i decide to keep quiet or i rarely talk about these things why guys the only reason is because i love my country i love my country so that when i sing the national anthem i rise oh compatriot or i say the national pledge i pledge to nigeria my country this is why I cannot say anything bad about my country because I love my country. If I say anything bad about any political uh, person in authority, they have access to the country. When I want to cross the Mohammed International Airport into Nigeria, I might have a problem. Yes. So the reason is because I love my country. The only time I will talk about our politicians is when I have finally got into a country that nothing can be done to me. And what is that country? Heaven. Yes. Only when I'm in heaven, I can vlog. I can vlog. I can talk about any Nigerian politician I want to talk about. But not while I am here on earth. Because, do not forget, Kani Nambu was fished out from Kenya. For the fact that I'm in Israel doesn't mean I'm immune. And that is not to say that our politicians are looking for people who are talking about them. Do not get me wrong. I'm just giving you my explanation why I decide not to talk about them. If I talk about them, of course, I talk about it in a mild way, not like Pararan Mock News. That one no they fear anybody. But me, in my heart, I they fear. I know where I come from and I know where I go. Maybe everybody um, uh, mantle of authority be the same. The things a blogger can talk is not the same thing you should talk. Huh? Stay under your anointing. Stay under your unction and your function. If your faith is not as bold as that of Pararan Mock News or as bold as other, uh, that of Namdi Kanu, then do not talk bad about your leaders. Unfortunately, my faith is not up to that level. So, the reason I decide not to talk about them is because I love my country and since they are the ones with the keys of the country, they might stop me from entering the country or even my passport might be revoked. This is why I do not talk about them. Rather, I center my talks, I center my opinion on those who are talking about God. <laughs> And I know at this point, a lot of you will say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Well, I'm not touching anybody. The Bible says, touch. I am not touching. I am talking. When David wanted to, uh, when David's servant of David's followers wanted to harm or kill King Saul, David told him, it is written, touch not my anointed. Yes, because they actually wanted to touch. They actually wanted to kill. Mm -hmm. They actually wanted to do that. But I am not touching any God's anointed. I'm only talking. Like I started in the beginning, there should be freedom of speech. 
And why is it only pastors? Because pastors are men of God in Nigeria cannot stop me from entering Nigeria. They can stop me from entering their church. They can stop me from entering their venues. But before then, I have to enter Nigeria. Am I correct? So my brothers and my sisters, if you are wondering why crackhead doesn't talk about politicians, uh, why he doesn't talk about people in government, I have um, explained to you why I do not. I will only talk about politicians of the Federal Republic of Nigeria when I have found myself in a kingdom no man can reach. When I found myself in a kingdom that I can't be deported. It's your boy, the crackhead, wishing you all a wonderful week. Bye for now. Time to check my social media to see who loves me online. Time to check my social media to see who loves me online.